what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are oh, you getting in? <laughs> so I do this for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo, what's going on, people? It's the day of the day, another day we call Saturday. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh, it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be a fierce day. It's going to be a gay pride day. Gay pride day is Sunday. It's the end of the month, close to what time are the end of the month. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? Oh, you already know. Anyway, that being said, <laughs> what's going on? Okay, I want to talk to you about something called the power. Now, if you don't know what this means, it's called the power. The power means that, are you with someone right now? And it seems like you always spend most of your time crying and you're in the bed because you're lonely. You're like, I don't understand why he don't ever want to spend time with me. He knows I love him and, and I'm crying on the phone like, why well, you don't want to see me? You know, I really love you. And, you know, you're going on to it and stuff. He's like, well, you know, I love you too. You know, things are just complicated or I have to work or my kids are coming over. You know, he has like a thousand and one excuses why, you know, he can't see you. And that being said... You have to understand this. This is, a, this is a person, and it's not for everybody, you know, like I said before, you can hear what you want to hear. If you don't want to hear it, don't hear it. This is a person that enjoys power. If you're in this relationship, he enjoys power. And when I say he enjoys power, he loves the fact that, okay, I'm just going to be realistic. If you're a guy, and you're a gay guy, and you're dating a straight guy who's a straight guy who's right on a DL, he enjoys the power of the fact that he can control another man, not a woman. But a man, even when they look at us, they say the same thing. They love the fact that they got that power to control you. He says things to you and you bust out in tears. He's like, damn, I'm a bad motherfucker. You know, he's, his whole ego is like on pump 10. And you like, all in all, I don't understand why he keep doing this to me. I don't know how long he expect me to do this. Da, 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 da. And he's like, when he feels this way, he's about to lose you. He's going to throw something really nice and will tell you that, boo, you know I love you. And you go, you taking it all and you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just funny. But it's just like, you just want to be loved so bad. You want somebody to love you and stuff like that, bitch. But it'd be necessary. I guess abuse of love is, is okay, they don't love at all. And the simple fact of the matter, he knows you have low self-esteem. You don't tell him all your secrets. You don't tell him your family got rid of you. You tell him how much you've been hurt. Now he's listening to everything you said. He said, so I don't want that to happen to me, so bitch, I'm going to keep you on the side. In case I can get rid of you. You have to understand, if you're still going to bed at night and you're still hurting and you're still crying and you're coming to him crying and you open that, you know, he'll feel sorry for you and he'll just change his mind one day. He's not going to do it. I know you want to say, well, Raven, it may happen. Okay. I know you want to say, you know, he, he may change his mind or something like that. Well, he's probably, he, not to other ten, he's not going to. And if he does change his mind and stuff like that, He's not going to stay, and if he do changes his mind, he do stay with you, he's going to punish you for feel like you turned him out. He's going to blame you for everything that he pushed on you, for him to try to be with you. He's going to blame you for these issues that he has within himself, because he can't deal with his realism. You know, I understand the whole thing, like me and my sister, we go back and push you, so anybody deal with you is not a straight dude. I, I beg to differ because a lot of guys that do deal with me are very much straight. You know, the simple fact of the matter is that they don't see a built man, they see a fucking voluptuous woman instead of the friend of them. Okay, we go past a little fine tape and we may say, well, it's not exactly all what it claims to be. But a lot of times girls say stuff like that, it's because you look better than them. What you say, baby, that again? You look better than them. And they're like, ugh. Oh. You know how many times a woman has to lay in that motherfucking bed and charge that motherfucking dildo off? <laughs> it's not funny because I love females. And sometimes the boys. But you know, sometimes they have to do all this stuff. And here it is, they can't even find a man. And here it is, the new girls are coming in. They can't even find one for the old girls. Oh, it's a mess. It's just shit that's all over the place. And the simple fact of the matter, they're a trans man. It's just not transsexuals. It's trans men, stuff like that. And the world is just a big melting pot. But if you're in a relationship with someone who enjoys power and who loves the fact that make you cry, my goal to you is find your escape. I always tell you this. You don't want to say it again. You need to leave. This is how you do it. You stop taking his phone calls. You delete everything about him. You put him on call block, put no, and put a bunch of no's inside your phone just in case you try to go back and read that. He's your kind of person who likes to backtrack, who can't stand their ground. Just put no. If you live with this person, well, if you live with us, it's a different story. 
If you live with a person like that, he enjoys power, he's beating the shit out of you. You already know you should have been left. Because if he's not your mother and your father, honey, you, they, you uh uh. Mm -mm. And there are a lot of men out here that's very confused. And they don't know what to do. And they feel like you're going to be the one to save them. And actually, they're not trying to be saved. They love the fact of the matter they can control a man. A man loves the fact that he can control another man and treat him like a bitch. And you crying all sissy the fuck up and you're gagging and your snot is running down your nose and you're coming together and your friends are going, huh? Girl, get it together. It's time to go. I know you don't want me to tell you this, but it's time to go. I know your friends have told you, but it's time to go. He's not coming. He loves the power of the mind fuck. He loves the fact that he can control another man. He has nothing to do with you. He just likes the game. And how he can fuck with your head. So at the end of the day, if you want to win this battle, fuck with his head. Cut him loose. Don't say goodbye. Don't say I'll see you later. Just stop taking the call, the call, the call, the call, the call. <laughs> anyway, that being said, have a safe weekend, everyone. And I want to say happy Gay Pride Day. And I want to say hello to my females. Boom. I want to say to my training girls. Boom, 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 boom. Who can I say training girls anymore? Because, oh, that's a mess. Anyway, to all my gay people, boom, and to all my people, bam, bam, bam. Anyway, I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, I want you to do you, I want you to do you the best way that you can, if nobody don't like it, then, and to my straight men, can't forget you, you know, mother loves them, don't we kid, yes mommy, we love the men, mommy on their bottoms, <laughs> sorry, anyway, <laughs> you do you, you do the best way you can, if nobody don't like it, then, fuck them. Okay, time for the Broadway walk because I haven't figured out this camera yet. Ready and go.